Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we are going to use the blob.ngrams. And I guess the very first thing we're going to try to explain is what an ngram is. Now, you can think of an ngram as a tuple. A tuple is a list of a limited length. And I guess the easiest way would be to say we we create an example right here. Um, right here actually I'm, I'm just going to write a string so string equals to this this is a sentence of so one two three four five then we're gonna have seven words one two three four five six seven right seven words so i'm going to convert uh, s into text blob and and I'm gonna go s dot n grams and equals to three that is the best way I can explain n grams so you're gonna have a list of three words which is the first three and then you're gonna have another three which is gonna be these three is a sentence then you're gonna have another three starting from a sentence off a sentence off then you're going to have another three sentence of seven so as you can see it takes three at a time and it just shifts one to the right so you know we're gonna see if we can make some use of um of these engrams First of all, let's see if there's like a printing limitation. So let's make this 22,000. And we're going to print blob.ngrams and equals to I don't know. We're going to we're going to go for 10 here. And run it. As you can see, too much to compute. So let's let's give it something useful. I don't know. We can just take a thousand characters, maybe two six to eight thousand. So and print the engrams here. Hopefully that's not gonna be too long. Okay. So these are the lists, and it just seems like a mess. I'm gonna try. I have a feeling it doesn't work for lists, but don't worry, we can use some conversions. Um I'm actually going to try to like use this with the polarity. So we're going to say for list in blob dot n grams and we're going to go n equals to 20. So like 20 word sentences. So they're not really sentences, but you know what I mean? 20 word chunks of text. So we're going to take break the text into like, you know, all the possible 20 word chunks that are subsequent. And then we're gonna say, I'm just gonna try this, even though I'm like 99% sure it won't work. And L dot polarity is greater than 0 0.8. Then, doo -doo -doo, then we want to print L uh, for L in. Okay, yeah, word list doesn't have polarity, right? So we need to go. Uh, L needs to be a blob, essentially. Only blobs have polarity. So I'm gonna try to go L equals the string of L, because I know you can go from list to a string, and then L equals the text blob of L. That ought to that ought to do it. There you go. And you're going to have the same text repeated a bunch of times, I guess, until, but so those are of the greatest magnificence and splendor that all the world looked on with astonishment and then, and mankind have continued to. So as you can see, it sort of ch takes the, you know, happiest uh, chunks of text that are 20 words long. And obviously we could have done this on the other end of the spectrum 
given that this is a more happy text, there isn't a sort of fully catastrophic 20 word long phrase in the book, which kind of tells you this author thinks Alexander had a happy life. So there you have it. That is how you use blob.engrams. Um, we are going to look at it and compare it with sentences for, you know, identifying certain regions of text for polarity. And we're going to see in the end what turns out to be more useful. So stay tuned. That's what's coming in the next module. In Before we get there in the next two tutorials, we are going to have a look at an English dictionary called Pine Chant. See you soon. <laughs>